photograph of the morning. Made our departure from Wicklow at 0600 this morning, or 615 I think it was, by the time we actually got off the dock. Kalana Key just behind us, and a couple of islands which I'm not sure of the name of at the moment. There's lots of day tripper boats going to and fro from those. I think it's a little tourist trip. We've just heard that the girls are uh, the M5 shut. <laughs> It doesn't look like they're going to get to their flight in time. So we're heading to Waterford. They were going to join us there tonight. Who knows what will happen. They're now starting to look at flights to Dublin, but Aer Lingus are also on strike. So it's not looking good. Been in Waterford for the last couple of days. Thankfully, we've now got uh, full Irish sunshine rather than just the, uh, the mizzle we had yesterday. It was about 10 miles up the river. Dunmore East. We came in here yesterday, the other day, the, yeah. the wind was coming in and we were surfing and coming oh, in here, okay. big waves. A bit like a penguin, well then you can go like... That's that's right. I, we we want to see you walking like a crab all night tonight. <laughs> Gonna keep it on and just shuffle around the town. Donarvon Harbour, went for a little cycle yesterday, supper in the moorings. Went to a little pub, the mini, which had four guys jamming away. It's just come in a bit now, so we can uh, think about our departure. We we'll have to hope we don't get tangled up in the mud. Came into Crosshaven last night, which is uh, in the entrance to the mouth of Cork Harbour. Came to the Royal Cork Yacht Club. Founded in 1720, a ridiculously long time ago. Very historic club, obviously, without many years under its belt. We just popped in here, but unfortunately it was a Monday night, so there wasn't much going on in all the local bars. Nobody had food. So it was barbecue on Hissy Fit, which was great, actually. Anyway, we are on our way to Kinsale. We're going to rent some bikes. Heading into Kinsale. Little boatyard. Then the King James, I think it is, fort. Awful lot of dinghy sailing going on here, the kids are off school. Been here a couple of times with the Round Britain. The Yacht Club here, lots of dinghy sailing. Well, we are in the fort yesterday, we had a little oh, tour for dolphins. five euros. Dolphins. dolphins as well. In marched this little super puppy. Helicopter arrived and uh, the guy at the uh, fort said it had been coming and going the last few weeks so I guess it's just doing charter work. Only 925,000 euros per week plus extras. A bargain really. Don't think they're there are they? Give us a smile then ladies. Oh! Hey, look. Can you look at you and then we miss the dolphin? <laughs> oh yes. Breezy, and we're still going uphill. Just coming past Glandor, well, Trandor, Mill Cove, and we're heading to Castle Townsend. It's probably another about four miles away. So we're marching up there quite nicely now. Just going to go around these islands or between these islands. And we've got uh, outside Glendore, Rabbit Island, and Lamb Island. Rabbit Island being the shorter one. We've got a rock here just to avoid. Probably got that pot on it. And over on the port side, we've got High Island right. and Low Island. Okay, Danny boy, ready for attack? Okay. Go, go, go. Just entering Castle Townsend. 
We've got horse rock behind down here. It's all looking rather pretty. Here's to your uh, third place. Or is it second place? What's in the bowl? Strawberries. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Great place of strawberries before the air gets wet. Pretty deep, Dan. It's pretty deep. Yeah, I think that's probably three metres down there. I'd say that corner is probably better. It's very close, though, isn't it? Yeah. I'm kind of hoping this is a pub. It's a bit of a steep hill. Now, oh. we're in Castle Town's End again. <laughs> what did they say? Come to Ireland, the sun will shine. Well, we're in our foul weather gear. Move around. Oh, there's the lobster man boat. So, we bought a couple of lobsters this morning. The local fishermen and we'll have those for supper tonight we've just been up to the top of the creek which maybe once went to skibbereen another old ruin we've just parked on this quay and there's a little coffee shop so we're going to see what's what and there's the castle is over here arrived in Skull, been here a couple of days, great walk around the headlands, looking at the Fastnet Rock, been on a boy for a couple of nights, great dinghy pontoon, we're just going up to the market, watch the football, England penalty shootouts last night in the local bar, Skull again, up on the uh, common here, we've got view of the bay to Clear Island, came around that the other day, oh, that's sort of Sunday market here, fairly busy, Tracy's queuing up to get a coffee. Oh well, yeah, quite a lovely place. Hissy Fit is just out of sight behind the trees there. And today we're going to head to Crookhaven, which is maybe eight or ten miles away. A little bit upwind, it's not too far to go. And then tomorrow we're going to head to Baltimore, which is back slightly south and east, um, before we head over to the Sillies, probably on Tuesday, Wednesday. For sunshine, very pleasant. So we left Skull, to where we walked yesterday, past the little uh, harbour there. Some amazing properties and views. And then across to Long Island, we're just motoring along the, the bit here. And Crookhoven's six miles up here, so just an hour, doing about six knots. Tracy's taking us there. Another old fort up the top there. This place is just riddled with uh, old fortifications. Shallows. Goat Islands ahead, and then Drometer in the distance. In the distance, the Fastnet. Very pronounced and obvious rock, that one, with the lighthouse off to one side. Are you looking forward to doing a Fastnet race at some point? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've got the rocks of Drometer. I'm going to squeeze through a tiny gap here, and there's another little castle. Clear Island in the distance, Long Island Sound. Very small gap here to squeeze through. Coming into Crookhaven, we spoke to Rupert the other day. He was just coming out as we were heading to Skull. He said he'd spent a couple of nights here. Oh, there goes the hat again, saved by the tag. <laughs> So we're going to spend tonight here and then head back towards Baltimore before we depart. Fast net out there in the distance all on its own. 
entrance into Crookhaven. Two turrets. Oh yeah. O'Sullivan's. It's all kicking off in there. There's some match on Ireland or either local football or something, Gaelic football. We've Googled it, can't quite find out, but uh, they're singing away. Whatever's going on, it's good news. It's pretty noisy. Sailing club, lovely looking beach up the top there. We might have to have a little explore in the dinghy, I think, today. But uh, the most activity we've seen on the water, a lot of ribs flying around. I think probably people coming up from Baltimore and Skull. They're just boats coming and going. But all rather pleasant. We've got the dolphins with a rib here. Mmm, no, definitely small. Does that make them porpoises? Maybe. Half a dozen of them or so. Look, she is trying to drive on top of them. Just had a bit of lunch. Pretty busy with the dinghy sailing here. Crookhaven Sailing Club. Quarter to four on a Sunday afternoon. You've got 20 dinghies with the cadets out. All going for it. Oh yeah, that's the one minute gun. Just gone. Starts coming up. And you? That's a funny name for a boat. <laughs> when you've got a house full of girls, there's uh, plenty of that goes on. And the previous boat was called Drama Queen. And did you grow it as a family? Um. Did you drink? No, no, no. Uh, you hired hands. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I did it with my mates. How did you do? Uh, we were fifth boat over the line, and we were second in our class. Oh, well. So. Thank you. Right, five seconds. The fire flags only just appeared. Maybe 30 seconds to go. And you? Seven seconds. Here we go. And they're off. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Port starboard. Good fleet. Second as they come up to the moorings now. Yellow mark way up there. Then we think there oh, more collisions. <laughs> Tracy reckons it's bumper boats. Get your dagger ball down boy. Carnage everywhere. Topaz with the softest four stay you've ever seen in your life. Fantastic to see though. It's a good fleet of cadets, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Lead boat. Next ones. And here they go, up to the finish. All the mums and dads are on the key, clapping them in. Sailed up from Crookhaven to uh, all Baltimore, drop the sails, and we're now going in through the Northern Passage. Pretty tight in here, as you might be able to see. Rocks everywhere. Got Quarantine Island here. Skibbereen up to the left. We're going to go down this little tiny one here. We haven't we? Oh, this yes, one this one here. Okay. All right. Okay. Rocks, rocks and rocks here. Quarantine Islands. Little passages for small boats around. Not for us, I don't think. Tight enough as it is. Skibbereen, quite a few miles up there. Used to be a trading centre. And Baltimore, straight ahead, but you can't see it. Well, we arrived in Baltimore yesterday in the murk and the rain. Tied up, managed to get some fuel and water. Very bumpy night last night. Glad we normally live on the mooring. Went to the castle up here, 12.15.
by the O'Driscoll family. And then in the bay, once again, all the kids are out sailing. It makes a sailing nation by the looks of it to me. It's almost challenging the French. We are about to leave the dock and head back to the Sillies. At least the sun has come out for a bit. There goes Baltimore. Not a great deal there. One tiny little sparry shop and a couple of pubs. All of these places, the houses are being done up. Lovely glass viewing platforms. We took a walk out to the, the point entrance. There's the entrance into Baltimore and the day marker. And I know I keep going on about it, but there's one two, three, four, five different groups of dinghy sailing going on here. Absolutely awesome. Shirkin Island, that's where Rupert and Sueños stayed the other night, but done your side, yeah? I've done mine. Lovely looking castle down there. Fortunately, it wasn't for us with the easterly breeze yesterday. The sheer drop at the side of it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was scary, wasn't it? Yesterday we were up there and there's nothing stopping you. It's, it's not like, oh, we step forward a bit. Oh, there's a little bit. On our way back to the UK and hopefully dropping into Scilly. We're about 50 miles into our journey, 80 miles to go. Got a few fishing boats up here, just had a little bite of supper. Look at the sun on those sails. Just got a couple of fishing boats. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're shining up nicely in the, the sun as well, aren't they? See one sigma occasionally we see another one yeah dolphin maybe there's a dolphin but... Mmm, really is, isn't it? When's the 10th of July? 2024. We're just arriving at the Scilly, the Isles of Scilly. Sun's come out. Are we even thinking it's warming up now? Aren't we, Mrs. Baker? Yes. We've got to Angler straight ahead. St. Mary's the main island in the background. Sampson, Briar, Tresco. Not a bad trip. Sort of 23 hours from Baltimore, about 140 miles. Sailed most of the way, we'd most of about an hour early evening last night. Beautiful sunset and beautiful sunrise. What more could you want from sailing? And dolphins as well, lots of dolphins. How many dolphins do you see? Lots. The Martin in the distance, the Mary's place there. St. Agnes, and it's outlying sharp little rocks. Decided we're going to go around and have a look at the cove of St. Agnes. It usually gets busy, but uh, looking on the AIS, don't seem to be that many boats there, so we're fingers crossed. Yeah, sharp, sharp rocks. Right, better get this Irish flag down. Not required anymore. Bangless campsite. Never been down this little passage before. So we've walked around the island a couple of times. Past the campsite, there's a little ice cream shop in there, and there's a little harbour in here for the local fishing boats. And somewhere hidden away on there is the gin factory that Tracy likes. Magnus, was it wild? What's it called? Wangle Tangle. Wangle Tangle. Sounds like she's making it up. Oh, what's the island of Gorse? Goo? Yeah, it's from Goo. It's actually someone not who's not sent very sensitive. It actually tastes quite different. Looking out to the west from St. Agnes, we've got the Bishop's Rock Lighthouse in the distance there, plus this splattering of rocks. Bishop Rock is one of the marks of the Fastnet race. Leave that to Fort on the way back from the Fastnet Rock. So we haven't actually walked out around this bit of the island before. You sort of get steered from the lighthouse down towards the campsite. So I think maybe we need to come and explore a bit more this way. Entering the cove. A few boats in here. Been here when it's been a lot busier, so we're hoping it's all going to be good. And it's time to drop the mainsail. The 
Monaco, St Agnes, we've been for a little swim. Five boats here, and it looks like the big catch is about to head off. Just tap the boom to get our solar visible. Sailing off the mooring to me. Got my washing in there. <laughs> <laughs> up some uh, charcuterie from uh, St Agnes and maybe these are the next ones in the in the queue just need a bit of feeding up what flavour ice cream would you like black currant swirl I think black currant swirl ice cream What's that bit? that's that one so this is the channel we came through this morning around the western side of St Agnes that was the day mark and I've always wondered what that uh, concrete post was on the end there well, on the other side it's all painted, so you live and learn. And down there in the little harbour is actually a rather smart looking Iroquois. It's got a glisten to it that looks like it's had a nice paint job recently. So we might go down there and see who we can find out about that. So we've got the uh, Snagnus cricket team. Tracy's advertising a dad's cap. So we reckon Sundays it's Inter-Ireland cricket. Oh, midwife. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> yeah. yeah. French rock stars have just pitched up. Number one victim here is going to either gift himself to the deck of the orange boat or into the sea. All he's got to do is walk out. Come on, here he comes. <laughs> Who's going to tell his mother? This is a lads and dads trip. <laughs> Hey! Allez, allez, allez! <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, it's okay. No blood spilt on the decks, but maybe that's why the boat's painted red, so the mums don't see who dies on the boat when they jump off the spreaders. Well, we just heard, via hoisting the phone up the mast, that England won the football, or into the, into the final, maybe, beat the Netherlands. So we've got our quarantine flag here. The wonderful system that is Submit a Pleasure Craft report means that you've just got to kind of like make it up almost. Anyway, we arrived, we said we've arrived, we hoisted our flag and hopefully at some point we're about to take it down and say yes, welcome back to Blighty. Bit of a green flash over there. What a stunner of a night.
moon's up. Bit of breeze forecast for tonight and tomorrow. Just starting to increase. And there goes the cruise liner for the day. It's trying to get pretty busy in here now. Another couple of boats just turned up as well. We've got the little Tricat 30 Jade. Quite funky looking bows on that. And the shear line looks nice. And the anchorage is filling up. On the move from St Agnes, going past St Mary's. Got the rocks here. And then we're going across the shallows over to St Martin and the day marker. Blockhouse at Tresco. Trying to shape up for a lovely evening. Fairly clear. Over to Teen, St Helen's Pool, or Grimsby Harbour, and our chain. Anchor's up there somewhere. Just off of Tresco, got the windsock here with a helicopter landing spot, although we haven't seen any in the last couple of days. Saw Peter on Adenonte over at Samson this morning, but he's gone elsewhere. We've got about 30 knots of breeze forecast tonight from the southeast, and it's exactly where we're pointing at the moment. So we're hoping that we'll just be tucked away in here, about a metre of water at low water. We've been around Tresco and Briar today. Spoke to the guys at the Briar Boat Yard where the power cats originate from. They've got another new owner. Been a couple of different people since Barry was there. We anchored up closer to Briar this morning. We had supper with them last night, which is great to hear about their Irish trip, the race, and then a bit of cruising. So they skipped off to Falmouth this morning, and uh, Tracy and I are heading home or back east. Going to go to Foy tomorrow is the intention to meet Richard and Sarah. I'm just thinking about packing the boat up a bit and prepping it for the, the alarm set for quarter to six in the morning. I'm going to try and get to Foy before too late in the yeah, before six o'clock. It'd be nice to be there sort of four o'clock in the afternoon to meet up with Rich and Sarah. Anyway, we've had a great time. Lots of racing, lots of cruising, and uh, Hissy Fit's taking care of us, which is all it's all about, really. So it's bye bye from the Tillies. Well, that's it. Leaving the Silly Isles. A bit greyer today. Had rain last night and it's looking pretty rainy for us today. Anyway, wonderful trip. A few boats making their way east again. I think that one's going west though, but uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll see a few during the day. And the boats uh, coming towards the islands, Bruce Nice and Bare Necessities. Obviously, out for there, a little uh, bit of cruising. Hope they have a good time. Well, we've got our succulents here. Keeping them out of the rain. They don't need too much moisture, evidently. So we're keeping them inside. Tracy's Agar Panthers sucking up a bit of the weather. And we've got the Wolf Rock. We're just glad we're not camping in Cornwall. Because <laughs> once again, it's raining. Some... Oh yeah, more dolphins. There you go. Oh. You liking the rain? Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Off of Falmouth on our way to Thoy and we've got some proper jumpers. Look at them go. Woo!
fine. Final stop. Pouring rain yesterday, but the sun is out today, and once again, what a glorious place. Old Tom's boatyard, shipyard, pretty busy. 102 years old. Fill up with trawlers, and we'll have a sail home today. Got the spinnaker up for the first time since the Aran Islands, around the back of Ireland. Now, pootering home, dead downwind from Foy. Also, pilot doing its thing. So, would you believe it? We've got the uh, Dream Cup guys here, and we got Dan Fellows and Zeb Fellows. Dan, who did the Round Island with us on Hissy Fit, but today he's racing on Orbit. He's Sunfast 3300. We're just off of Ramehead, local boys, in the big race. Back to Plymouth and his warship time. 